Good morning, and I hope you're enjoying your bank holiday. Today, the church remembers St Athanasius of Alexandria, and if his name seems vaguely familiar, then you may recall that he gave his name to a creed. I'm going to read parts of Psalm 37 appointed for today, then reflect on the life of St Athanasius. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongues speak what is just. The law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. Interestingly, Psalm 37, like Psalm 119 and several others, is an acrostic psalm, which means that each section starts with a successive letter of the 22-letter Hebrew alphabet. So the first section starts with the letter Aleph, and the last section starts with the letter Tau. But let's turn to St Athanasius, who was born around 296 to 298 AD, became Bishop of Alexandria, and died on the 2nd of May, 373. In his Easter letter of 367, Athanasius was the first person to list the 27 books of the New Testament canon that is still in use today. During his 45 years as Bishop of Alexandria, he spent 17 of them in five periods of exile, when he was, was replaced on the order of four different Roman emperors. He became known as Athanasius Contramundum, Athanasius against the world. It was tough being a bishop in those days. As a theologian, Athanasius was the chief defender of Trinitarianism against Arianism. I'll assume that you're familiar with the Arian heresy, but just to remind you, and me, the Arian position was that the Son of God is of a distinct substance from the Father. Athanasius began his leading role against the Arians as a deacon, an assistant to Bishop Alexander of Alexandria during the First Council of Nicaea. The Roman Emperor Constantine the Great had convened the council in May to August 325 to address the Arian heresy. And hence in the Nicene Creed, which we recite every Sunday, we say together, We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. It was that last phrase, of one being with the Father, that marked the defeat of the Arian heresy. We recite the Nicene Creed in the Eucharist, and at morning and evening prayer we use the Apostles' Creed, but the Book of Common Prayer has a third creed, the Athanasian Creed, and it decrees, Upon these feasts, Christmas Day, the Epiphany, St Matthias, Easter Day, Ascension Day, Whit Sunday, St John the Baptist, St James, St Bartholomew, St Matthew, St Simon and St Jude, St Andrew, and upon Trinity Sunday, shall be sung or said at morning prayer, instead of the Apostles' Creed, this confession of our Christian faith, commonly called the Creed of St Athanasius, by the minister and people standing. I don't think I've ever heard it used, but I do remember finding it in the prayer book one Sunday many years ago, when my mind wandered to other things. It's headed with the first two words in Latin, We quinque vault. It's much longer than the Nicene Creed, which is probably why it isn't used so often, and I won't read the whole of it, but it starts off with very assertive language. Remember Athanasius drafted it to combat heresy. Whosoever will be saved, before all things it is necessary that he hold the Catholic faith. Which faith, except everyone do keep whole and undefiled, without doubt he shall perish everlastingly. And the Catholic faith is this, that we worship one God in Trinity, and Trinity in unity, 
neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance. For there is one person of the Father, another of the Son, and another of the Holy Ghost. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost is all one, the glory equal, the majesty co-eternal. Such as the Father is, such is the Son, and such is the Holy Ghost. The Father uncreate, the Son uncreate, and the Holy Ghost uncreate. The Father incomprehensible, the Son incomprehensible, and the Holy Ghost incomprehensible. The Father eternal, the Son eternal, and the Holy Ghost eternal. And yet they are not three eternals, but one eternal. As also there are not three incomprehensibles, nor three uncreated, but one uncreated, and one incomprehensible. And so it continues. The next time you are in Holy Trinity Church, and apologies to all at St John the Baptist, as you have to make a special trip, do have a look at the diagram on the front of the lectern, which illustrates the Athanasian Creed, by explaining the relationships between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Latin. It looks like I've just drafted someone's Trinity Sunday sermon. It's all about having a good diagram. And now let us pray. First of all, a collect for St. Athanasius, which I found from St. Peter's Catholic Church, New Iberia, Louisiana. Almighty, ever-living God, who raised up the Bishop St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. And now a prayer for peace in Ukraine by the Bishop of Oxford. God of compassion, have mercy this day on the people of Ukraine. Restore to them the gift of peace. Grant wisdom to the governments of the world. Bring good in the midst of evil and suffering. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, who gave his life to bring peace to your world. Amen. And now we bring all our prayers together in the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Stay safe. Remember that Richard Simmons will lead our daily prayers on Friday. And each Monday evening we have prayers for the Ukraine, and alternating between the two churches. And tonight it's at St John the Baptist.